On a crisp Wednesday morning, the Missouri Supreme Court convened to deliver a verdict that had been anticipated with a mixture of dread and resolution. The court announced that David Hosier, a man who had become a notorious figure in Jefferson City, would face execution on June 11th. Hosier, now 69 years old, had spent over a decade on death row for the cold-blooded murder of Angela Gilpin, a crime that had shattered the peace of a small community and left scars that time could never heal. The date was set. At precisely 6 p.m., in the dim confines of the state prison in Bonterre, Missouri, Hosier is scheduled to die by lethal injection. This execution would be the second in the state this year, following the scheduled execution of Brian Dorsey on April 9th for the brutal killing of his cousin and her husband back in 2006. The story of David Hosier and Angela Gilpin is one of passion turned deadly. Hosier, then a man in his late 50s, had met Angela during a tumultuous period in her life. Angela was estranged from her husband, Rodney Gilpin, and found solace in Hosier's company. Their relationship, however, was marred by jealousy and possessiveness, emotions that would eventually lead to a catastrophic conclusion. In the early hours of a September morning in 2009, the peace of Jefferson City was shattered by the sound of gunfire. Angela Gilpin, a woman loved by her community, was found dead in her apartment, along with her estranged husband, Rodney. The evidence pointed overwhelmingly to Hosier. Witnesses reported seeing him near the apartment and forensic evidence placed him at the scene. The trial that followed was one of the most talked about events in Missouri's recent history. The prosecution painted Hosier as a man driven by uncontrollable rage and jealousy, someone who could not bear to see Angela with anyone else. The jury listened intently as the details of the night of the murders were laid bare, the forced entry, the struggle, and the final fatal shots. Hosier's defense, however, argued that he was not the monster the prosecution depicted. They claimed that the evidence was circumstantial and that Hosier's relationship with Angela, while complicated, did not make him a killer. Despite their efforts, the jury was unconvinced. On December 10th, 2013, they found David Hosier guilty of first-degree murder and armed criminal action, among other charges. The sentence was death. Hosier's journey did not end with his conviction. His legal team launched a series of appeals, each one aimed at overturning the verdict or, at the very least, securing a new trial. They argued that Hozier's trial attorney had been inadequate, failing to present crucial evidence that could have swayed the jury. Moreover, they claimed that the trial judge had a conflict of interest, a factor that should have disqualified him from presiding over the case. These appeals made their way through the labyrinthine judicial system, culminating in a final plea to the Missouri Supreme Court in 2019. The court, after careful deliberation, turned aside Hosier's appeal. The original verdict and sentence were upheld, and Hosier's fate was sealed. The announcement of Hosier's execution date brought a wave of mixed emotions in Jefferson City and beyond. For many, it was a long overdue justice for Angela and Rodney Gilpin. Their families had waited over a decade for this moment, enduring endless legal proceedings and the constant reopening of old wounds. Angela's sister, in a statement to the press, expressed a sense of bittersweet relief. Nothing can bring Angela back, she said, but knowing that her killer will finally face justice gives us some peace. Yet not everyone agreed. Advocates against the death penalty argued that Hosier's execution would not bring true closure or justice. They pointed to the possibility of rehabilitation, even for those who have committed heinous crimes and the irreversible nature of capital punishment. A petition circulated, calling for Governor Mike Parson to grant clemency but it gained little traction. In the quiet aftermath, Jefferson City began to heal, knowing that while some wounds may never fully close, the pursuit of justice, however imperfect, is a journey worth undertaking. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time, keep questioning and seeking the truth.